Haikyuu the Dumpster Battle, the newest anime movie. Let's talk about it. Haikyuu the Dumpster Battle is the latest sports anime movie that is out now for you guys to go and check out right now. Now, if you guys don't know what Haikyuu is all about, it's all about volleyball. That's right. So we're all about following a team that does volleyball. And this is the movie between two schools that battle out, that have this great rivalry. That's what it suggests in the movie anyway, that they had this great rivalry. And there's some friends on one side and friends on the other side. And they have like a rivalry, but a friendship at the same time. So, I'm just going to start off by saying sports animes are not my favorite genre of animes. Blue Lock, I tried to get into Blue Lock as a football fan myself. I tried to get into it, but I just couldn't get into that one. This one is another one that I couldn't quite get into and didn't really enjoy as much as I thought I would. But I was still going to go in open-minded for the movie and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in. I'm going to support my anime friends over there in the sports genre and I'm going to give them my support and hopefully I'm going to enjoy the movie. I walked out of the dumpster battle, you know, surprised, and I enjoyed it. I had a really good time with it. And what I really liked is the actual story that they were telling. Like, this is a whole match, just one match, follows the whole entire match between those these two schools that are going at it. But it is not just a match where it's like, we're trying to win and beat everyone. It's not about that. There's actually a lot more detail and depth to it because it's more about a especially a singular character known as Kenma. And this character, everything revolves around this character. It revolves completely around that character, who is someone who is very intelligent, very smart, has a very high IQ when it comes to volleyball, and is very talented, and is very strategic, able to shut down the best players of the other team and adapt throughout the entire game and work out what is coming and how do we stop each one to make ourselves, you know, in a better position to win. But the problem with this character is he doesn't enjoy volleyball. So he's like one of those people, you know, we meet them in the sports world all the time. They're really talented, really good at the sport, but they despise the sport. They don't like it. They don't have fun playing it. They just do it because they're good at it and they just do it. That's what they do but they don't actually have any passion or enjoy it. So this whole character arc around this one game is about this character trying to almost find that passion, that love, that enjoyment that volleyball brings to them. And we get this really nice backstory to him that really is done, done justice. It has done a lot of justice and showcases you where this character has come from to where this character is now. So, you know, you get this full arc from the start to finish at the end of the movie. And it's actually very heartwarming. And I really enjoyed it quite a lot. And there's moments where you meet some two, you have two focal characters that are key to this character's arc that play a very pivotal role to it. You have the rival, which is someone, if you watch the animal, uh, the animal, what, where did I get that from? <laughs> Sorry. If you watch the anime, you know one of the characters you know, so he is basically a rival to this character, in a way, a friend and a rival, and then you have one that is, like, his best friend that is introduced him into volleyball and got him into this stuff, and they have a beautiful moment in this movie as well. So I really, really love that. I really love the story arcs between the characters and the schools themselves, how they set this match up, and how it is a chess match. This whole entire match is just a chess match, and then it's all about... Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Who's going to wield first? Who's not going to wield? Who's going to figure out where to play this? Who's got the strategic behind it? How can the best player on this team get more involved? Do they have a plan B to get around what this team is doing? So I loved all that elements that they put in when it came to sport itself and the strategic elements that you need to be able to overcome your rivals or the people you are playing, your opponents. But at the same time, when you're getting nullified, how do you find a way to insert yourself into the game, to insert yourself into the moment where you can capitalize and bring it home for your team? Loved all that. The animation is brilliant, stunning. There is this beautiful POV shot in here that I loved so much. I loved 
that moment. When they go to that POV shot and it's just, you follow that character, it was awesome. I wish more animes would do more POV stuff like that. We've seen it, we saw it in, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly, where Goku and Broly are fighting and you go to Broly's POV at that for that split second and that. Love all that stuff. And this does it really, really good and it's a lot longer. So you really absorb what is actually happening and you feel the emotional stakes that is going through this character at this moment and how they're feeling. Another thing I really liked is how they utilized the sound in this movie. There are moments where, because there's a lot of rallies that go on for a long time, so it tires people out. And then there's just no sound. All you hear is people breathing very heavily, like they're exhausted. So you just, it adds this intensity to it, to this match, to these characters. And it adds this extra layer of intrigue where you're just getting more invested every single time. Because now you're like, okay, they're tiring. What's going to happen here? The, you know, mental fatigue starting to kick in. Physical fatigue starting to kick in. Who's going to cope with it? So I really, really enjoyed that as well. That was all fantastic. The score was great as well. Really enjoyed the score. I think this is actually... Look, this anime is not for everyone. Like, for me, it's not my favorite genre. I did enjoy the movie, though. I'm not a big fan of the series. I don't think I can sit down and watch the series and binge the whole entire series or anything like that. I just... I don't know. There's just something about sports animes that I can't really, you know nail my thing on where I'm just like that interested in them but I really do like what they did with the characters I really like the story elements that they're doing I really like the the animation is just gorgeous in this film it really is gorgeous I I just look the moments where they're jumping up and spiking the ball you know or setting it you know they just the way that they're shot the way that it's animated is just done brilliantly it really is and it just added this layer of, I don't know what the word is, but added this layer of intrigue where I'm sitting there like, this is actually really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. And there's there's some great funny moments in here. So there's some great comedy elements that just landed. Like, you know, it doesn't overpower it because sometimes anime can be a bit, you know, too comedic and it overpowers certain scenes that you're trying to get in. But I thought the balance was correct and really, really well balanced to the point where you're like when the comedy hits it's this nice relief of the tension that you're feeling as you're going through this battle between the two schools so i would recommend it even if you're not a big fan of the anime i reckon still go see this this movie because you might enjoy it i enjoyed it i had a lot of fun with it so let me know what you guys thought of the movie did you guys love the dumpster battle smash it down in the comment section below smash that like button click subscribe and i'll see you guys next video until then stay safe and peace out.